Hello everyone, welcome to this third body DIY tutorial. Today we're setting electronics and motors. Servo motors, so it's really easy. The nuts are already inserted in the metal parts, so we just have to screw the servo motor as shown. Just pay attention to the servo's orientation, it has to be oriented like this. Same for the blue servo, make sure it's well oriented, insert it and just screw. Make the wire go through this plastic collar so that it won't touch the wheels. Motors, everything you need is on screen, so first you need to put them onto the motorboard. Please make sure you put the right motor at the right place because there's a right motor and a left motor. Time to properly insert the motors, so put 4 screws and 4 rubber washers and insert it like that. At the bottom, rubber washer, metal o-ring and stop nut. It's very important that you do not screw too tight. The washers are here to absorb the motor's pressure. From this perspective, you can see the order. Rubber, metal o-ring and nut. Now clip your file room into the frame. With this metal piece, you attach the frame and the fire room with each other, as shown. This is Baddy's power button, you just have to clip it in this hole. Baddy's battery, just put it below the motorboard, just like that. This wire that connects to the charger needs to go through this hole. There are so many wires you need to store them a bit, so this is the power button one, just put them below the motorboard, rent it this way. The retainer server's wire needs to be connected to three extension cords, just like that. And these extension cords need to go uh, below the motorboard. The switch server's wire also needs to go below the motorboard. Take your electronic speed controllers and put them that way so that they don't go anywhere. Alright, time to mount your PCB. Take this metal part, put the three screws, then put the three spacers. Put your PCB on the structure. Then take your nuts, insert them, start to screw them. Then grab your pair of pliers and screw. Here are the power connectors in yellow and here are the command pin headers. It's indicated whether it's for the motors or the servos. Alright, begin with plugging your ESC's power connector in yellow, there's no particular order. Then on the right, you've got to plug your battery's power connector. Regarding the command pin headers, pay attention to whether it's a right or left motor, or whether it's a switch or retainer servo. For the motor's pin headers, make sure you put uh, the right wire at the right place, because there's a right motor and a left motor.
Alright, all you've got to do left is to attach the PCB structure to the frame and volume structure. Uh, so here you shall see the little clip. Yeah, just right there. And now you just got to screw everything. And you're done. Congratulations and see you in the next tutorial.